Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how we can shuffle the elements of an array using JavaScript. This is an optional video. You might find this topic helpful if you're interested in making a game using JavaScript or any sort of application where you need some randomness. In this example, we'll create a deck of cards. Our deck of cards will be an array. We have an A for Ace, the numbers 2 through 10. Let me finish typing those in. J for Jack. Q for Queen. K for King. I'm not going to include any suits for these cards, such as Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs. That might be overkill for this example. One method you might see floating around online to shuffle the elements of an array is to use the sort method, then pass in an arrow function where you take math.random minus 0.5. I would not recommend using this method just because the results of this method aren't perfectly uniform. Let me console.log cards. This array appears shuffled, but it's not that uniform. But not only that, the larger the array becomes, this method becomes increasingly more inefficient. I would not recommend using the sort method to shuffle an array. Instead, I would recommend using the Fisher Yates algorithm. We'll create a dedicated function for this. So we will define a function to shuffle. There will be one parameter, an array. Then to invoke this function, we'll type the function name, pass in our array of cards. So what do we want to do exactly? We're first going to loop through the elements of this array. We'll start at the end and work our way towards the beginning. We'll use a for loop to decrement. So within our shuffle function, we'll create a for loop. We will declare index of i let i equal our array dot length. Then minus one. That's the first statement. Our array has 13 elements, but the last index is 12 because arrays start with zero. If the array's length is 13, we need to subtract 1 to get 12, which would give us the ending index of 12. We'll continue this loop as long as i is greater than 0. Then i minus minus to decrement. Now we have to generate a random number between the end and the beginning, somewhere within this range. We'll create const random. Random will store a random number. Take math.random method times i, our index, plus 1. We'll need to round this number. We're now going to enclose this equation with math.floor to round down. Math.floor and enclose this equation. All right, during the first iteration of this loop, we should generate a random number between the end and the beginning. We'll swap our king with a random element within this array. So to swap two elements of this array, we can use destructuring. In this context, to use destructuring, we'll take our original position, array at index of i, during our first iteration, that will be the king. We'll swap our king with our array at a random index, the one that will be randomly generated, equals our array at index of random, comma, array at index of i. Then to finish using destructuring, we need to enclose both sides of this equation with an array. There, and that will swap two elements of your array. Now, if I run this program, this will shuffle the elements of my array. I would recommend using a dedicated shuffle function because in a game, it's likely you're going to shuffle something more than once throughout that game. Like I said, this isn't a necessary topic to continue on with the series. But if you're ever interested in making a game using JavaScript or need some element of randomness, well then this function would work great. And that is how to shuffle the elements of an array using JavaScript.